All right, guys, welcome back to Jeeping for Beginners. Once again, my name is Josh here with my daughter, Harley, Hi. and we have an awesome video for you today. We are going to discuss the top five things you need to know before you take your Jeep off road for the very first time. So are you ready? Let's go. Harley, you have to walk off screen in order for the intro to start. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Once again, like we said, we are going to talk about the top five things that you need to know before you take your Jeep off-road for the very first time. And we have a special treat for you. My son Devin is going to be with us today, and he is going to help us out with our top fives. So let's get started. Let's start with number five. All right, so number five on our list is being prepared. And when I say prepared, I mean both mentally and physically. Now you don't necessarily have to have all the gear uh, in your Jeep for self recovery. You don't necessarily have to have the biggest lift, the best tires, that's not what I'm talking about. When I'm talking about being prepared, I'm talking about the little things. Make sure that you have water. Make sure that you have a means of communication. Make sure you're wearing the correct attire. Um, make sure you have simple things like a $20 toe strap just in case something were to happen. As far as mentally goes, you need to remember that the Jeep is not going to drive the same way off-road as it does on-road. It's going to steer different. It's going to stop different. It's going to behave differently. Now, it comes with experience and time to know exactly what that means, but be prepared for the fact that you don't know what to expect the first time you take your Jeep off-road. So, Daddy Josh, what's number four? So, number four on our list is going to be to know your equipment. Jeeps are a completely different animal than most of the four-wheel drives that are out there. When we start talking about vehicles like Subarus, uh, Ford SUVs, or so on and so forth, their four-wheel drive systems are designed to keep you in a straight line in slippery or unsavory conditions. The four-wheel drive system on a Jeep, however, is designed to keep the body level while you're driving. So you're gonna get a lot more movement out of your suspension and a lot more weird feeling in your steering. But knowing that the Jeep is capable of doing that and knowing the equipment is goes hand in hand with number five of being prepared and know, trust the vehicle that it is capable of doing what you're asking it to do. Cool, so what's number three? So number three, we're gonna talk about trusting your spotter. When you go off-road for the first time, you're gonna find that people are very excited to help you get through your obstacles. So there will more than likely be somebody giving you directions on what to do, both with your gas and brake and with your steering wheel. Now the language from spotters can seem a little daunting sometimes because it's not what you're used to hearing. Most spotters are not gonna use words like left and right. They're gonna use words like driver and passenger. The reason that we do this is because if I'm looking at you and you're driving the vehicle, my left and your left are two different directions. And we wanna make sure that we're all on the same page. And like I said, you need to trust your spotter. If he suggests turning your wheel to the driver's side of the vehicle, turn the wheel because he can see the obstacle that you can't. All right, so what's number two? All right, so number two on our list is gonna to be to trust the transmission in your Jeep. This is actually a personal pet peeve of mine as I have seen so many people, including experienced wheelers, not follow this particular rule. When you are descending down any type of trail where there might be slippery conditions or loose gravel, by applying your brakes, you could actually cause yourself to skid or slide 
worse than you want to. Chrysler spent millions of dollars designing the driveline in these vehicles in order to get them to behave the way that they're supposed to behave off-road by choosing your gear, trusting your transmission, and letting the vehicle do the work for you, it will definitely be a lot easier. Now it's time for the number one thing you need to remember before you take your Jeep off-road. So the number one tip that I can give you or anybody else for the first time they travel off-road is don't ever go out alone. You should always have another vehicle or a group of friends with you just in case something were to happen. Again, this is one thing that I just cannot stress enough. You do not want to go out on the trail all by yourself, especially if you've never done it and you don't know what to expect. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching our video. If you've made it this far, then I do have a little bit of bonus footage for you. And that is just to remind everybody that nobody is infallible. In fact, I'm going to share a couple of pictures with you in a short little video clip right now of a time that my wife and I on this very trail system that you've seen in the background on this video broke all five of these tips. And here is what happens. Alright guys, thank you so much for joining us. I sincerely hope that these tips we presented here today are useful and helpful for you for the first time you take your Jeep off-road. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments down here below. And we really would appreciate it if you liked the video and Harley? Make sure you subscribe and click the bell notification so you can get future videos. And we'll see you all next time. Bye. 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 So we're just exploring some trails today and just seeing if we can, you know, find some shade or whatever to shoot some video. And uh, we found something really, really strange. You want to see what it is? there is absolutely why you should not light fireworks off on top of your vehicle. <laughs> now it's time for the number one thing you need to bring off-roading with you in your jet. What does this say? <laughs> Sorry. Windy. Hot. So. <laughs> Breath is inside the Jeep. And yeah, that's it.